Hello everybody, this is Kyrix, and I'd like to welcome you to the start... The start? Sorry, the start of a rather huge project. Uh, this is my Kingdom Hearts Let's Play. All of it. <laughs> uh, last year, that is to say 2020, we had the Coronavirus Stimulus uh, Act thing, and one of the things that I bought with that was the Kingdom Hearts All-in-One Package, because... There it was for 60 bucks. All the games in Kingdom Hearts 3, which it just released. And having played the first two, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, I had a lot of fun with them. I, I had been very skeptical about the series when it was announced, way back on the PlayStation 2 era. Like, oh, Square, Square Enix. Or maybe it was just Squaresoft back then, but Square is teaming up with Disney to make an RPG that's half Disney, half Final Fantasy, which is how it was originally billed to us, and there are Final Fantasy elements in this. And, uh, being an Xbox player, as I was back then, um, it took me a long time to get around to the game. I had a rather famous, amongst my friends, dislike of the PlayStation 2. I don't know what started it, but I know that a big part of it was that I flat out did not like that they were stealing exclusives, because Sony would snatch up every company's exclusives. Like Resident Evil, Capcom had a deal with Nintendo, like, oh, Resident Evil, all the games will be released exclusively for the GameCube, and then, lo and behold, here's Resident Evil 4 for the PS2. You know, um... There were other games that were supposed to be Xbox exclusive that wound up on PS2 as well. I don't remember them offhand, but quite a few. And I remember my friend getting real pissed that, Oh, Grand Theft Auto's going to Xbox! That's bullshit! That's a PlayStation game! I'm like, bitch, do you have any idea how many exclusives you stole from us? Shut up! Um, when you combine that with my notable and rather ugly feud with um, Square Enix itself... Oh boy. Yeah, you may you may notice a trend here. I have a grudge against a lot of things in the gaming industry, and they last decades. Uh, my grudge with Square Enix was due to Final Fantasy X-2. Um, because, for those who don't know, way back in the day, Final Fantasy didn't have sequels. I mean, there were other games in the franchise, like Final Fantasy 1, 2, all the way up to 10, you know or Final Fantasy Aqua, as I call it. And uh, there were no true sequels. You know, every game was its own continuity, its own reality, its own universe. And since then, games have been made... I don't know if they're canon or tongue-in-cheek, but where they cross over, like uh, Final Fantasy Record Keeper, Dissidia, etc. One moment. Sorry, I had to take a couple of aspirin. And anyway, the the games now cross over, even if it's not canon. And I don't know, I've never played any of these games. Well, I've played Record Keeper, but... But when 10.2 was announced, it absolutely infuriated me. And 10.2, if not was the mark of Square Enix, it was around the time the merger happened. It was one of their first, if not the first, game they released as a joint company, because it used to be Squaresoft and Enix, both of which were known for making incredible games. And basically, uh, when I found this out, I was I was pissed, because now Final Fantasy was just another RPG series. And the one thing that made it unique was that each one was unique. I mean, there were recurring elements, like the summons, the magic types... The crystal showed up often, there was always a Sid, there was usually a Wedge and a Biggs, etc. But they were completely different, like, fuck, uh, Cloud and Zidane couldn't be more different, and Cecil and Locke, etc., you know, there, there were just vast differences between everybody. And, uh, I, I didn't take it well, you know, I just, keep in mind, this happened when I was... 18 or so, so prone to making poor decisions, you know what I mean? Um, 
And this was one of them. And the funny thing, it was it's the dumbest thing that made me end my boycott of Square Enix. Um, and it was a hardcore boycott. I used to get pissed when I'd see a Square Enix game on the computer, not computer, on the TV, you know, on a commercial. Because they all looked the same. It got to the point where I'd see a game and see Square Enix, and before I even saw Square Enix's logo, I'm like, yeah, that's a Square game. Because they all looked the same to me. There was just a a trend in the design that I didn't care for, which I've gotten over now. I'm I'm older, much older, and a lot wiser now. And I've gotten over it for the most part. And um and I used to that that was one of the things that made Rogue Galaxy so good to me was the fact that it wasn't a Square Enix game and it was so good. But the thing that broke my boycott is I accidentally bought a game and didn't want to take it back. Um, for those who don't know, GameStop, at least back then, you know, back before the PS3 was even a thing, would, uh, around Christmas time, and I mean, like, within the week of Christmas, especially the 26th, would run a thing, a buy two, get one, where if you buy two games, you get a third game for free, and the, it's almost always the less expensive of the three. Now, sometimes I get a really cool clerk who would pair two really expensive games with a third expensive game. Like if I had two games that were 20 bucks and one that was 18, and then I had a 9, a 9, and a 7, rather than a 9 and a 7 being it, they were like, oh, these 20s and this 19 are together, and these 9s are together with this 7. So I save a huge ton of money, but again, had to be specific clerks, you know, and it's not something you ask for, they just do it, and honestly, they're awesome for doing it. I love you guys. <laughs> but um, that's what they would do. And I would I would get every year like a $25 gift certificate for GameStop. So I'd walk my ass up to the GameStop that was near my house. And I would spend about two hours just browsing. Because that's the kind of shopper I was back in the day. And when it came to video games, is I, I just hang out. You know, I talk with them, I'd look at the games, I'd think, I'd sweep again, maybe I missed something, you know, and eventually I'd come up with three games that struck my fancy. I don't even remember what two of them were, I think one was, uh, like, Rain or something like that, or it was, it was some kind of dragon game. No, that was later, because that was PS3, but I, I don't remember what all I got, but one of the games was Front Mission 4, I want to say, and, because I had played Front Mission on the SNES on emulator, and I really liked it, so I'm like, oh, I'll play Front Mission 4. Ring of Red was one of them, because I had two Met games. Um, but anyway, I bring home Front Mission and fucking Square Enix right there, and I'm like, well, I do like Front Mission, and it's a long way to walk, and it's a really stupid reason to return a game, and that, that was it. And then one day I decided, you know what, I'm going to play Final Fantasy X, because I had borrowed a friend's um, PS2. Or maybe, no, I had my own PS2 and I borrowed their game. Because I'm like, you know what? Final Fantasy X was a Squaresoft game. Final Fantasy X is separate from the whole sequel bullshit, etc. So I played X and I really liked it. It's not super high on my list. Like, it's not my top three, but it's probably in my top five. And yes, this is going to be a long bout of exposition because I'm going to cover a lot of shit here. Because there's really no gameplay here. This is a single episode. Let me have my moment. Um, so anyway, uh, I played through 10, and then I decided to rent 10 2, and saw that it was so vastly divorced from what Final Fantasy typically was at the time that I couldn't consider it anything more than a spin off game, and that really just kind of broke the spine of my hatred for the company. And then I eventually tried Kingdom Hearts, and then Kingdom Hearts 2, and I just loved them. But for some reason, I never got into the rest of the series. Uh, part of it was because... What was it? Birth by Sleep? It, it was the one that was on, like, the DS or the Game Boy Advance or something. It was, it was on a handheld. No, it wasn't Birth by Sleep. It was Chain of Memories. That's what it was. Anyway, Chain of Memories... Uh, I missed that entirely. I looked up stuff online, then I played 2, and then they kept com coming out with these other things on consoles that at the time I didn't own. And just, you know, I, I did 
couldn't follow. Uh, Star, at one point, was doing one of them. I kind of want to say it was Dream Drop Distance, but it could have been literally any of them. It was one of the ones where you had the three characters and you just alternated between their stories. And I, I watched a little bit of it, but not enough that I would retain a goddamn word of it, really. Uh, I know there was something about Xehanort or something. There was some kind of inside joke where they... No, I remember it was. It was uh, Yensid. Uh, at some point, Star realized that Yensid was Disney backwards. And it just fucked with her in the chat. Just fucked with her f with that for weeks, months, etc. But anyway, all that brings us to where we are now. I bought this game with the full intent to let's play it. And I looked up online what order these would be done in. You know, I wanted to do them in chronological order. Basically blind. Except for one, which I've beaten in its entirety. And two, which I've gotten to the last boss in and just for whatever reason never finished. It might have been that it was a rental and it was just due or someone borrowed it from me or I just lost it. But whatever reason, I never finished the game. Um, and what we came up with was this. Kingdom Hearts X back cover. Or maybe it's cross back cover. It's Japan's weird with how they label shit. But anyway, Kingdom Hearts back cover is apparently a movie. Not a game, a movie that summarizes... I think it was a mobile game that basically tells the prequel bits of the story. Uh, I have not seen it. I have checked for three things. One, to see if it was in fact a movie, and it is. Two, to see if it would allow me to record it. And from what little I did, it did. And three, I needed to make sure I could pause in the middle of it. Because this is a little around an hour long. And even if I jumped straight into it, we would... Uh, th this only holds an hour at a time, so I'd have to splice it. And that was the thing. is I'm like, oh god, I'm going to have to do this on the laptop. And the laptop is real twitchy about that shit. So I'm going to be able to splice this. This is going to, at some point, have a pause in the middle of it. And then it's immediately going to resume from your standpoint. In fact, I'm going to be splicing it. Um, my computer cannot currently fuck with proper quality and shit. So probably it's not going to look good. The whole series may or may not look good. I'm probably going to have to compress it, which is going to take it down to like 480p. And it's a storage thing. I'm just not made of hard drive space. Um, I will post these things when the game is done in its entirety, but each game will be its own thing. I am not holding on for 12 fucking games. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, 11 to 12 fucking games. This, yeah, well, no. <laughs> it will take me forever to finish. And it, it, fucking YouTube might not even exist by the time it's done, for all I fucking know. So, as I finish each game, it will go up. This one, obviously, going up first. Uh, I only got as far as the two, I think they were nobodies, they might have been uh, the 13 or something, uh, talking for like half a second where they he called him number 7, and then I'm like, okay, the movie is actually starting. Because originally it just showed these little sprite characters from what looked like a phone game and it just seemed to be repeating the same message over and over again and I'm like is this all it is because it's not letting me fast forward or shit so we're going to begin now and I looked at the sharing restrictions apparently they're fine with me streaming slash recording this as long as I'm not doing it for commercial game and I don't monetize so not commercial gain and we're not doing it exclusively to listen to the music so we're good you know, if I were doing this just to hear, you know, simple and clean, they could take me down. But I'm not doing that. Okay. Supports an autosave. I don't know why that... Well, I know the way there's an autosave, so I can pick up where I left off. But let's go. Play. Subtitles on. And I had it muted, except for, like, a couple parts, just so I could see that there was stuff here. See, so yeah, I'm not even going to attempt to read this. I'm going to assume that it's going to be a thing. And in worst case scenario, feel free at home to pause this shit. I mean, I could pause it. Well, I'm not going to, but I could pause it right now. 
Um, after I watch this, I might go through and pause this thing. But I'm going into this blind. I will be providing live commentary as we go. But yeah, this definitely looks like it came from a mobile game. Yeah, see, it looks like it's just doing these over and over again as we watch these cutscenes. Now, the bulk of these games will be done blind, but I will also be looking shit up. So that I want to I wanna try and do, like, Sephiroth from the first game, etc. I'm going to at least make an honest attempt at doing all the side shit. We'll see how successful I am, but I'm going to... The attempt will be made. I mean, hell, this is... My Let's Plays are shit where I've taken on Ozma for the first time and beaten him, and I've 100% of the battle chips in uh, Network Transmission and so on and so forth. So. It's entirely possible that's a thing I can pull off. So anyway, I'll be stopping this around the half hour, 45 minute mark on my timer. We are now at almost 17 minutes in, according to my timer. My timer actually started a little bit before the recording did, because that's what I do. I'd rather be under time than over time. This is cute music, though. And here we go. Kingdom Hearts back cover X. So these are apparently the cutscenes from the, the phone game. When he says six, that's as far as I got. I paused on that and I was just done. So that makes you the indisposable number seven. Huh. Come on, it's simple. You six plus right here. me is seven. From here on, I'm blind. <gasps> Wait. Don't tell me I don't count. No. Uh, um. Here, take it. In the master's playful and mischievous way, he gave his apprentice Lushu a very important role. Lushu, that's not how I would have pronounced that. What seemed like a simple task was the element called that would connect <laughs> all of the events to come. But that's why these things are voice acted. Long, long ago. All the worlds were still one. One day, this would be called the Age of Fairy Tales. That's a very cute narrator voice. It all voice. began here, in Daybreak Town. The Master of Masters had an eye that gazes into the future. He bestowed upon five <clears throat> of his six apprentices a copy of the Book of Prophecies in which was written the events to come. So, did you look through the book? Yes. But I'm still analyzing it. Wow, no quick skim for you, huh? I just prefer to be thorough. Master, is what it says in the last passage true? Oh yeah, that. Bummer, huh? Yes. By the way, <laughs> if one day I suddenly disappear, I'm counting on you to keep the others calm, okay? Huh? Disappear? Vanish? Dim? They... I don't know how to explain it. It's just hypothetical talk. Okay. This world is full of light. 
It's a world comprised of many smaller worlds. I should really talk more. <laughs> stretching as far as the I do like his see. voice, though. I One like their great voices light in protects general. protects us all throughout this vast land. All worlds share one light, one fate. I take it you're talking about Kingdom Hearts. Yep, you're right on the money. People believe that the light that is Kingdom Hearts will be here forever. But if it were to disappear, the world would be enveloped in darkness. I understand. And that is why you granted us these Keyblades. With these, we can spread the teachings of light. And we can protect Kingdom Hearts from darkness. No, they're not for protecting Kingdom Hearts. Huh? The final passage reads, On that fated land, a great war shall transpire. Darkness will prevail, and the light expire. Isn't it our duty as Keyblade wielders to prevent bummer. this war from taking place? Not, not possible. <laughs> you really think you can change the future? Then... What do you want us to do? We have to focus on what comes after. There's no use thinking of ways to change events that we know are gonna happen. But what about all of those who are here now? They're boned. And the ones who will be here when the darkness finally comes? They're very boned. Are we to abandon all of them? <laughs> Come on, are you telling me that you think the world can be saved by just seven people? <laughs> that is the basis of We have of anime, to at sir. least try. With enough Keyblade wielders, we could... Ah, if you want to give it a shot. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. Good luck. <laughs> so flippant. Ooh, I like that design. And so the reliable Era, who wore the mask of the unicorn... <clears throat> was given his role to take over for the Master and to lead the others. Similarly, the virtuous Envy, who wore the mask of the snake, was given her role to watch over the others with a fair eye. Oh, please tell me these names aren't the going to be important. The fearless Ased, who wore the mask of the bear, was given his role to support their brand new leader, Ira. At least... Uh, it answered my question the that I never asked Dava, them, did they have different masks? Who wore the mask of the fox, was given her role to prepare exceptional Keyblade wielders for the world after. The cool-headed Gula, who wore the mask of the leopard, was given his role to uncover the mystery of the Book of Prophecies. Should be one more, yeah? Lushu, the first of the apprentices to be given their role, watched his companions from afar as they learned what it was that they were meant to do. Then, he disappeared. Huh. Not long after that, the master vanished, dimmed, and faded without a trace. Ooh, I like that handle color. That blue. It's this is purple. where your story began. The story of your very own adventure. Five of the Master's apprentices armed themselves with the Book of Prophecies. They each created a union. This would fulfill his wishes. Then, they set out to rally Keyblade wielders just like you. By defeating Heartless, the monsters of darkness, they would gather light. There's a traitor among us. I keep expecting at any moment I'm going to have to pick up the controller and play, and then I remember Are the you movie certain? Kyrix. What proof do you have? I Is found this sniffing around. Is that a dark charity? Uh, Is that a nightmare? <laughs> God, my phone. <laughs> I need that. 
<clears throat> it's adorable, whatever it is. <laughs> Master, did you make this? It's so cute! Well, things are gonna get pretty hectic around here soon, but this spirit Chirithi is gonna make your lives much easier. Hopefully. Spirit? You could say they're like cats or dogs. And they'll be your loyal pets. Every wielder will have one of these adorable little guys at their side. They're here to help, so play nice. Okay. Oh, right. Before I forget. If a wielder is overcome by malice, or rather if their heart is tainted by darkness, their adorable little spirit will turn dark and become a nightmare. So hmm. you're telling us that if we see a nightmare... Someone has fallen into darkness. Do they not exactly. put name tags on their Chirithis? And if you don't stop this renegade spirit, it'll plant darkness in the hearts of others. And you'll have an army of nightmares on your hands. Beware. So, if we see one of these nightmares anywhere, we have to get rid of it on the spot. Hmm. No! I won't let you do that! It's cute. No wonder you ended up as the bear. You're scary. <laughs> Your point? Maybe you can growl at them. Hmm. Ugh, don't insult me! <laughs> Come on, I said. You won't know if it works unless you try. <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. <laughs> Please tell me he's gonna growl at it. It's not me! There's an easy way to solve this. If we all summon our spirits, then we'll know. It's gonna be, uh, blue shoes. There are countless wielders in our unions. It would be easy for any of us to summon a Chirithi that isn't a nightmare. I'm afraid that your suggestion wouldn't help us get to the bottom of this. Yeah, in that case, who's to say that the nightmare you saw belongs to one of us? That is a good question. It could belong to anyone in our unions. That's highly unlikely. Do you recall the tool the wielders were given in order to make them stronger? We generally don't concern ourselves with what they have at their disposal. However, hmm. I believe those tools were the nightmares doing. The bangles? I know when they're equipped, they have the power to collect dark energy. But I thought we all agreed that was okay. Collecting is fine, hmm. but using that power is the equivalent of using the power of darkness. It's a brilliant plan. Everyone knows that all spirits look the same, and wielders exist in spades. There's no way to tell. Oh hmm. no. Everyone's already equipped their bangles. So what now? How do we find out who's behind this? Seeing as those bangles couldn't have been acquired by just anyone, I believe it's one of us here in this room. No, Ira. I respectfully disagree. What proof do we have that the bangles are tied to the power of darkness, or if a nightmare is to blame? We shouldn't simply jump to conclusions. Ira, some leader you are. You've managed to plant seeds of doubt in all of us with that speech. What, did you expect the traitor to give themselves up with that accusation of yours? That was foolish. I said, that's quite enough. It looks to me like the master made the wrong choice. Wait, where do you think you're going? I think we're done here. I trust you'll keep us all updated. I hope... I hope we can all resolve this soon. If I didn't know any better, I'd swear this wasn't even part of Kingdom Hearts. That didn't Hearts, go but... as expected. What's then wrong, Then again, Hira? it's supposed to be the prequel. This so. isn't like you. A lost page. Something's missing from our book of prophecies. Well, that can't be good. Each of our copies were said to contain the events of the future. But this incident, well, it's nowhere to be found. So someone's and changing the future. how does this whole thing with the traitor tie together? Like I said, it's nowhere to be found. 
<laughs> in my book. Ira, are you implying that someone is in possession of the missing page? And the person with the complete book is the traitor? There is something going on, and the page is suspiciously missing from the book. It's not so far-fetched to assume that the one who has the lost page has been turned. That they have fallen into the hands of darkness. Wouldn't they just tear Trust out their me. own page and hide it somewhere? There seems to be no record of it in my book either. You may be onto something. I wonder, could this have been the master's plan all along? Where? To grant the lost page to only one of us. Huh. We have no way of knowing. The master is gone. I would say that Lushu had it, I but understand didn't, what you're didn't saying. he only give out five books for the I six of them? I promise to keep a close eye on the others. I will keep you informed, as always. Thanks. Of course. After all, that is what the master asked of me. <laughs> it's an interesting little and mystery, Ira, though. May your heart be your guiding key. Part of me wants to go and record Kingdom Hearts 1 early, just so that I don't get confused in the mechanics, but I want to go the chronological route. So, to sum it up, I'll need you to observe the others. Easy breezy. Uh, all right. Hmm. Like I said, Ira may have to take over for me. But don't be shy. Just be fair. Then do not be afraid to speak up. Even though I say observe, you'll need to be the mediator. Make sure people get along. I understand. But without you or Lushu, to form and maintain our own unions is what it's a little unnerving. That they're talking about. That's what I want to know. Oh, come on. Lighten up a <clears throat> little. Maybe I'll never disappear. Wait, do you want me to go? What? N no, <laughs> of course not. so bad. I love it. <laughs> I was just kidding. Oh. He's so mean to them. I see. <laughs> and they're Look, all so serious. I get that change can be hard for everyone. But things need to keep moving forward. And you need to keep up. Otherwise, you'll just get left behind all alone. Now that you know what the future holds... Envy, what does your heart say? <laughs> May your heart be your guiding key. I say it all the time. You ultimately need to do what your heart feels is right. <laughs> right. I do wonder how much of a part these guys are going to play in the other games. Because they're not in Kingdom Hearts 1, to the best of my knowledge, and I don't I think they're in 2. I about either. Ira. I thought he would make a great leader. He let me down. Well, what do you two think? You don't believe what Ira said, do you? Of course not. His argument was unconvincing. It's like Inby said. He's just making baseless assumptions given the situation. There's no evidence to tie his accusations to anyone, let alone one of us. <sighs> Maybe there's something he hasn't told us. And he needs to tell us! How dare he look at us with suspicion! We're his comrades! I wouldn't call us comrades. Anyway... Could I'd you say get it's either point? him or her if it's not Lu Xu. Call us here just if to it's complain. anyone. I want the three of us to form an alliance. But alliances are forbidden, I said. I knew it. I had a feeling it would come to this. So, we join forces, then confront Ira? Confronting him is pointless. Hero won't change his mind. I know there's darkness at work. There's no question. But I don't believe for a second there's a traitor among us. Unfortunately, Ira doesn't share the same belief. He's just wasting time trying to figure out who the traitor is. But darkness won't wait, and neither should we. We need to band together now, and find a way to fight it! Ah, guess it makes sense. I agree that we need to do something to fight the darkness. But combining our unions... 
That was strictly forbidden by the Master. He's no longer here. I'm in. Hmm. But let's be clear. The Alliance is just between the two of us right now. I don't want my Union members involved. Gula! I want... I want to follow the Master's teachings. Understood. That's your choice to make. You should do whatever you feel is right. Yeah. By the way, said, do Ira and Inbi know? I haven't talked to Ira about it for obvious reasons, but I did ask Envy to join us. <laughs> you wanted to see me? Uh, Gula, Ava, what are you doing here? What's the meaning of this? Hear me out, Envy. I want an alliance among our unions. Gula here has already agreed. Will you join us, and together we and can- And disobey the Master's teachings? We don't have a choice! Darkness is approaching, and we need to combine our strength to stand against it. The Master bestowed each of us with a different role, and he specifically told us to keep our union separate, to maintain the balance of power. He told us that any imbalance would lead to a desire for more power, which leads to darkness. I know you haven't forgotten. Perhaps... It's you who has been tainted by darkness. <laughs> I'm tainted by darkness? Then what about you, Envy? You spy on us and report everything you see back to Ira. You that's really think job. you have no darkness in your heart after what you did? Because that is my role. Yeah, that's to literally her job. Us, yes, but not to disclose <clears throat> everything we say and do to Ira. No, that's, that's actually her job. For all we know, you and Ira could be allies, scheming behind our backs. That's enough. No, I'm getting the sensation that it's her, honestly. When will it stop? I don't want us to turn against each other. Master Ava. Uh, oh, hello. Your name is Ephemer, right? Uh-huh. Uh, hey, can I join you? Uh, no, he looks like a Kingdom Hearts character. <laughs> Keep bumping the mic. This is a new I headset. I'm not face. used to it. Did something happen? Hmm. Long day. Do you remember what you asked me before? About why the unions compete against each other instead of working together. Actually, I always wondered the same thing. Huh? Isn't it just because the Master said so? Yes. And as such, we must obey. The Master said so. So it is. That's a level Lately, of blind obedience I find disturbing. I've really started to wonder. You once told me that you were looking for answers. That you wanted to solve the mysteries of this world. Well, I think that's how things should be. We need to question things and think for ourselves. Whoa! You are really not yourself today. I guess even foretellers have their off days. Hey, maybe talking about the book will cheer you up. Not a chance. Aww. <laughs> you were trying to pull a fast one on me, weren't you? Oh, no, no, I was joking. Mm -hmm. If you say so. But, to be honest, I think it would be great if all the unions could work together and be friends. You know, I made a friend from another union today. Is that allowed? I wasn't much of a talker. Maybe just shy. We're meeting again tomorrow. That sounds like so much fun. Then you'd better go home and get some sleep. Okay. Well, it was nice talking to you. I don't know what's got you down. This might have made up. a whole lot more sense to me if I were more in tune with the franchise at Thank this you. point. But then again, that's kind of the whole reason we're going through this chronologically, so that I can get in tune with this franchise. If the worst happens... 
I'll be glad to leave the future to the kids who see the world in the way that you do. Let the wind carry you far, far away. My dandelions. I honestly can't remember what most of their roles even were. Envy. Have you learned something? <laughs> it seems Ased and Gula's unions are now allied. So Ased is the traitor after all. No. I don't believe he is. Why is that? To Ased, unification is a means of gathering strength to oppose the darkness. So I believe his heart still it's belongs so to the It's so easy to make that claim, though. Even so, forming alliances was strictly forbidden by the Master. Yes, and his teachings are absolute. Why That's are why his teachings absolute? I will absolute? try and persuade Gula to dissolve their alliance. Then I'll do it. No. Please, let me do the talking. Your intervention will do nothing more than spur Asad's anger. All right. She's not wrong. I'll leave it to you. And one more thing. Asad has begun to question the two of us. As a precaution, my reports will be less frequent. I don't want him to get the wrong idea. Please understand. Yes, I do. For a book containing the future, it's awfully small. You gotta wonder how much you can even get from a book like that. I think I'm done. Done with what? <laughs> the Alliance. I think it's time to call it quits. For what reason? To put it simply, I entered this alliance thinking we were preparing to fight some impending darkness, but it hasn't come. In fact, there haven't been any suspicious incidents recently, and you haven't rallied anyone else to your cause. Yeah, but... I don't think Big Bear there is a traitor. Is I think he's just kind of dumb. Oh. Envy? Uh-oh. You weren't supposed to find out. Is Envy <laughs> the one who told you to break our alliance? Now him. He tastes Maybe, like a traitor to me. But I'm the one who decided to do it. And I've already told you why. But we don't even know who the traitor is yet! <laughs> and that's exactly why. Because he might be allied with the traitor, for all he knows. I just can't trust anyone but myself. Don't you realize you won't stand a chance against the darkness on your own? Sorry, my mind's made up. Yeah, he's way too casual with that name drop. Envy. He's stirring up shit. You will regret this. Why does the other guy not have a mask, just a hood? I'm referring to Lushu. You been here long? My bad. No. We are getting to know each of them, though. So, what did you want? Uh, you didn't forget, did you? You're the one who called me here. He probably <laughs> did forget. Uh, I was just kidding. I didn't forget. Give me a little credit here. Guy was just testing you. Uh, right. Now, allow me to tell you about your role. You're going to be Ira's right-hand man. What? <laughs> Ira's right-hand man? What do you mean? He's well, really dumb. Ira's gonna be the new leader after I'm gone, you see. So, just stand by. Don't disappoint. Explain to me, Master. What do you mean Ira's going to be leader? What? Is that disappointment I hear? Did you want to be leader? No! 
I mean, if you had asked me to be the leader, that's a different story, but I wasn't trying. You really want to be leader, huh? I, well, I know you want it, but that just isn't enough. Any chump can say, you, here's a huge promotion, good job, and make your head honcho. But enthusiasm alone doesn't make a great leader. Ira needs someone like you to give him a push in the right direction. Uh... I agree. Ira is definitely the most worthy among us. I'm sure he'll make a fine leader. I don't like settled. how slavishly Wait, devoted they are to this worthy, guy. But why do we need a new leader, Master? Does, does that mean you will no longer be teaching us? Well... I might disappear one day. But... Well, I might disappear. Disappear? Why? Where? Speak up sooner if you're listening. It was embarrassing for me. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna disappear or not. It's anyone's guess right now. But Even as cool as this guy seems, case, I don't like how they... Era. Are that no, he's quite serious. Devoted. He's always just thinking and thinking and thinking behind that unicorn mask of his. So everyone will be counting on you to spur him into action. Uh, right. You might not be entirely happy with your role, but just know that it's the most important one. Capiche? Hmm? Not sure. <laughs> Making Yira the leader is all good in theory, but sometime later you might think, eh, he's terrible at this. In which case it'll be your job to step up. Who knows? Your leadership might be just what everyone needs. And that is your true lord. <sighs> May your heart be your guiding key. Stirring up Best the shit. Luck, I said. It's been over a year since the Master left. It's time for me to fulfill my true role. And we're going to pause here a minute. There we go. I got caught up in the story and forgot that I was getting close to my time. <laughs> Why do you get in my way? Don't be so conceited. I'm protecting the balance, just like the master told us to. You need to come to your senses! Five petals drifting away. That's not symbolism or anything. If we don't do something, light will expire. Then we won't be able to avoid the grim future that awaits. You're not supposed we to. We need to defy the Master's teachings to protect the world. You're saying he was wrong? He's not here anymore. I won't let his prophecy come true. I won't let the world fall into darkness. You fool! Yeah, he's way too <laughs> skulky for me. Ava, over here! <gasps> yeah, he's up to something. Envy, Asad, what's going on? I found out who the traitor is. Regrettably. <gasps> no, that's not true! <sighs> Ava, there's no time to lose! He's stirring up shit. Man. 
May my heart be my guiding key. Yeah, he's probably got a hundred pounds on the lot of them. <laughs> Good thing you guys are here to protect people. Who knows what kind of destruction could result otherwise. Yep, I called it. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Master. Um, oh, Master? Oh, I see. If you're busy, I can always come back later. Sure. No, oh, no, 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 stay. Is he now reading porn? Ah, here it is. What's this? Go on, read it. <laughs> this is from the Book of Prophecies. But... Yep. It's a page that's not in any of your books. <clears throat> and what's written here is... Your role. You must find the traitor hidden among you, and stop them before it's too late. And in order to help you find the traitor... I get it. That's why you gave us all different roles, isn't it? If anyone deviates from the job they were given, we can easily conclude that they are the traitor. It's brilliant! <laughs> Way to steal my thunder, show off! I'm about to say he's huh? mad that you stole his thunder. It's not fair. My plan was supposed to blow your mind with its grandeur. Your jaw should have hit the floor at my sheer genius! I'm <laughs> sorry? Is this but Master Deadpool? Flawed? Oh, you're right. So, I guess now you've earned your time in the limelight. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't him then. Or maybe it was. Even though there is a traitor, act normal and keep focused. Trust no one but yourself. <clears throat> it is an interesting story, I'll give it that. Trust no one but myself. my role is huh? the books we were given are incomplete there's a lost page lost page on that page it is written that there is a traitor the master told me to find and stop that person I called you my comrade but never again, Gula. It doesn't matter to me if you think I am the traitor and you want to strike me down. You knew there was a traitor and you just watched silently as we fought each other. And I won't forgive you for that. That was literally what the you master told you. stay on your feet! Just give up already! Don't you underestimate me! I think it's her still. Please stop! Uh. 
Backstab. Just a moment here. Come here, Betsy. Betsy's trying to furball. Why did it have to come to this? Maybe it wasn't her. Or maybe it's Big Obvious Bear Man after all. Feeling bad, ready? Betsy, good girl. Sorry, Betsy had to furball. Come to finish me off? And make it quick. That's not what brought me here today. I wish to fulfill the role bestowed upon me. That's all. It isn't our place to try to change the events of the future. That is not our mission. We're here to make sure that light lives on. With only five lights, we can't afford to lose any. You still count me as one of the five lights? Didn't he just kill two of them? Of course. Only you could be such a good guy, after everything we've been through. But hey, I guess that's one of the reasons I respect you so much. However, we still might only be four. <laughs> I'm talking about Gula. He's <laughs> using the knowledge of something called the Lost Page. <laughs> he said that... It contains events that are missing from all of our books. He's using it to discover and apprehend whoever is the traitor. Claims that's his role. But who knows what his real intentions are. What I do know is that I'll never forgive him for hiding the fact that he knew someone would betray us. That's the biggest betrayal of all. I'd like to believe that Gula was simply carrying out his role. Asad, I'll deal with this matter. Please keep it to yourself for now. Understood. Or maybe there's not a traitor and the mere existence of this was designed to rip them apart. I need to see that lost page. Could be him just trying to get the page. Could Why be all did of you them. tell Ira? It had to be you, because you were the only one who knew where we were hiding. Didn't you think for a second that your actions could be making things worse than they already are? And why should that even bother you? Not only do you have your union, but you've also gathered the finest Keyblade wielders from other unions, and you're training them in a secret location, aren't you? Yes, because that is my role! <laughs> I had no idea. I apologize. Do they even know Over what each other's set. jobs are? No. <laughs> I shouldn't have snapped at you either. What did Ira want? I don't know exactly. He just asked me to give up Gula. His eyes. They were scary I was worried he'd do something awful I knew I couldn't tell him where Gula was then he turned around and walked away I see and Gula I, I guess they are both still alive I don't know why it took me till just now know. to realize that he's gone God, that thing's adorable. It's cute in a way only Japan could make Someone's things. Someone's coming! They're headed straight this way! 
<laughs> Take care of him. Ira? Is something wrong? I know Gula's here. What? God, this girl has Tell a terrible me where poker he is. face. But why? What are you going to do? None of your concern. <laughs> Don't. What? I won't let you near him. So that's it. All right. I'll go. That seemed remarkably easy. <laughs> Gola, what are you doing? <sighs> Something happened? Ira was here. He wanted me to give you up. I knew it. It's finally come to this. Come to what? Everyone wants to know about the lost page. The lost page? Yeah. It's a page the Master gave me. It doesn't exist in any of our books. It contains a passage about an inevitable betrayal. Hmm. It talks about... the one who bears the sigil. That's it. So... I don't know what to make of it, to be honest. My role is to find out who it is. I suspected a said and went to confront him. <laughs> and look what happened. Why are you telling me this, Gula? I have enough to think about keeping with the Master's teachings and my role. <laughs> Always walking the straight and narrow. No one likes the I'm a fool for basing my actions on what is written on that lost page. Everything in the passage is ambiguous at best. It's That's the future. Why. I need to find out. But how? By asking the master. But he's not here anymore. I'm going to summon Kingdom Hearts. What? Oh, then you'll have no choice but to come back. Summoning Kingdom Hearts is forbidden! That's exactly why! The only way to get him back is to break the rules. If things don't change, the entire world is doomed. The world is supposed but to be doomed. In order to go through with it, I'll need Lux. I don't have nearly enough. You always do the right thing. Help me with this. I'm sorry. I know you want the Master to return. But you don't know how summoning Kingdom Hearts will affect the rest of the world. The Master... He forbid it for a reason. I'm afraid I can't help you. I see. They let her get away with an awful lot of shit because she's adorable. May your heart be your guiding key. Ghoul is on a mission to collect Lux. Ah. That explains why Ased and Ira are as well. They're trying to maintain the balance. But... That isn't the balance we were expected to keep. Are you if sure? everyone's collecting light... ...solely for themselves... ...keyblade wielders will soon turn against one another... ...which will lead to... ...the Keyblade War. And what's written <laughs> in the book... ...all of it will happen... ...light will expire... ...envy... What are you going to do? I'll gather laps too. No matter what, 
The balance must be kept. So Lux is apparently a thing. Ava, you do the same. We must delay the inevitable. Right. Are they sure it's one of those five that's a traitor, not one of the six? What's written in the last page of the book is gonna happen. The entire world will be lost to darkness. But Master... Isn't there anything we can do? Well, that's what brings me to your role. You might just be the only hope of keeping light from expiring. Hope? Master, what is it that you need me to do? Oh. Don't get involved in any battles. Forget the notion of unions. Find Keyblade wielders with potential, and create an entirely separate organization. Then, like the seeds of a dandelion, let them fly to another world. Interesting. They will keep the light alive. You really think that... I'm the right person for this? Ava, you're the only person for this. This would be interesting to watch a second time at a later time. But I think I'm getting a lot out of it just by giving my blind honest Today reactions. Today you're here to continue with your training for our mission. This session may seem like it's familiar to you, but in a world that is different, one made of dreams. You are our hope. A war will soon wage. Those who strive to protect the light will turn their weapons on their allies for the sake of loyalty to their own unions. To be honest, I don't know how far I can guide all of you. What you must remember is that anyone can lose themselves to the darkness. However, there will be no winners. Everything will be lost. Willow. Except all of you who are the seeds of hope. When the time comes and there is war, you mustn't fight, but instead you must fly away from here to the world outside. Sorry, this I keep bumping the mic. To help you fulfill this crucial task. The future is in all your hands, as is the world's light. May your hearts be your guiding key. No, that's not for you, silly thing. Here, you can play with this pill bottle. <laughs> ah, it's him. The gazing eye? Uh, it's not what it's called. Oh. What then? Hmm. Actually, that is a no very name. sinister looking keyblade. No name. <clears throat> well, gazing or not, that keyblade does have an eye in it. My eye, to be exact. Ew! Oh, you <laughs> think that's gross, do you? N no. Yeah, sure. <laughs> anyway, about what your role. Dick. You need to pass down that keyblade to your apprentice and then him to his so that my eye can see the future. So the Book of Prophecies... Bingo! The fact that it exists is proof of your success. Mm. That means you've trained a worthy apprentice. Pass down that handsome Keyblade. 
and fulfilled your role. Congratulations! God, you're a weird dude. What's the matter? Come on, you did a fantastic job. At least smile a little. But I haven't that done dude. anything yet. Good point. Guess you better get started then. Unfortunately, you'll have to go alone from here on out. No book of prophecies to keep you company either. That's right, you've got to write you it. any temporal paradoxes. But that hey, explains so much. We both know you'll do just fine without it, right? Do I really have to go alone? What about the others? Minor details, so don't sweat it. For now, you, that keyblade, and this box need to stay out of sight. Just watch with your own eyes, and my eye, of course, as things unfold between the others. Then, when the time is right, go off and do your thing. What's in it? It's a secret. And, well, you see, <laughs> the thing is, you, you don't can know. never, ever open it. Great, now I really want to know. <laughs> All right, I'll indulge you. But this secret stays between the two of us, and you have to promise never to open the box. I promise. <laughs> but why? You'll see. That's ominous. I wonder how much of this game is retcon and how much of it is forecasting things. I guess I'll find out as the series goes on. May my heart be my guiding key. That's it, huh? That was a hell of a thing, that story. <laughs> that was interesting. I don't know how much of any of it fits into the main Kingdom Hearts series, but then again, out of these 11 or so entries, I've seen two of them. So, and I'm slightly familiar with Chain of Memories. So that's like a quarter of the story that I'm working with, so I'm not surprised that none of it's making sense to me yet. Kind of reminds me of the numerous arguments I have about Star Wars with the fan base, telling them basically you've, you're working with absolutely nothing, you know. But uh, of course, I'm also working to rectify what I don't know. But again, apparently these were the cutscenes for Kingdom Hearts X or whatever it was called. So interesting, very, very interesting. Honestly. And I really hope that by the time the credits roll on Kingdom Hearts 3, this comes full circle and I get to find out more about this. Because that's the thing about me, I really like lore when I get invested in shit, and it's only ever a matter of time before I go on a lore dive in any series that I really find myself in. It's part of the reason I like Star Wars so much, is there's so many things to learn. As opposed to Star Trek, where everything's basically an open book from the word go, you know? But, uh... Not that I don't love Star Trek, but that's a conversation for a different video. <laughs> what fucking day is this, anyway? This is... Huh, Sunday. Interesting. Yeah, I completely lost track of what day this is. It's, uh... I was wondering, this is 
uh, five in the morning, Sunday, January tenth, twenty twenty-one. So, yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna go straight to bed after this. I honestly was thinking about going to sleep before I started this. <sighs> Sorry about the yawn, but I knew that if I did, I'd just procrastinate and put this off for another three or four months. Whereas, if I started it, I would have to finish it and I'd do it in one shot like I just did. Because yes, there was the pause, but it was literally pause, stop, stop recording, start recording, unpause. That's, there was no delay other than to reset my timer. But yeah, I'm guessing those generic -y looking characters are what you play in the mobile game. One of your avatars and such. Which is why they only had so many different outfits and different versions of the same outfit. They, they all looked very similar, even if they had some individuality to each of them. There's one sinister looking keyblade, though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. So apparently the next game in the list is, I believe, Birth by Sleep. Yeah, Birth by Sleep. Which will be the next game I cover, which I think is actually on this disc. Uh, and if it is, that's great, because that means I don't have to reinstall anything. I can just do Birth by Sleep and call it a day. You know what I mean? Yay, I unlocked the theater. I unlocked characters. Oh wait, can I look at the characters? Let me take a look. Ah. Cool, okay. <sighs> Seems pretty simple. So who the fuck was the traitor, or was there even one? All the characters. Cool. That's great for me with my horrible memory. Let's go back. I just want to check this real quick. Oh, interesting. Yep, there it is. Um, I'm just curious real quick. I want to look at the extras. Oh. Cool. Very nice. Anyway, um... So, that is Let's Watch Kingdom Hearts back cover. Um, join me next time for uh, King Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Wait, did I? Huh. No, not this one. Actual Birth by Sleep. I think... Yes, this one here comes after that one. So yes, the actual Birth by Sleep is next. Not this one. <laughs> I thought that looked a little weird. Okay, um, see you next time, everyone. Bye-bye.